Hi, Jackson Hogan here for Real Skiers TV and RealSkiers.com to talk to you today in a little segment I like to call 82 is the new 88. By that I mean we've looked at the 80 millimeter underfoot category that we call All Mountain East as a sort of an ideal one ski quiver zone where you should go fishing for a ski that'll do everything for you. And now we're seeing a new sort of subgenre of this that is in fact so narrow underfoot that it falls out of that category into a category we call front side. And these are 82 millimeter waisted skis. And they're coming at this segment or at this point of 82 millimeters underfoot from two different directions. Some are influenced by the narrower waisted technical skis and our skis that are amplifying that technology but blowing it up to 82. And in other cases, they're taking big mountain technology and shrinking it past the waist width we normally associate with an all-mountain ski down to this 82 waist width. And an example of that shrinkage is this new Brahma 82. The Brahma 88 has been around for many years, has a popular following. And the 82 is just going to amplify that by making it a little more agile, a little more friendly on the hard snow, which is where you're often skiing, although this is a uh, baseline that is oriented towards off-trail skiing. So the Brahma 82 is trying to blend the ease of off-trail skiing design with a front side stick to the snow capability. That's also the case with the Black Pearl 82, which is fitting in between the Black Pearl 78 and 88 in their line and giving them an alternative that's going to have a little more waist width than the 78, a little more performance, but a little more agile and in the hard snow conditions that often prevail even though we want to be skiing off trail. The new ski from Atomic is the Vantage 82 Ti that brings their super light pro light construction this is a, as it was essentially created as an all-mountain technology in skis as wide as 107 underfoot. And they're again shrinking that off-trail technology into something more appropriate for uh, front side. And the advantage is they're bringing the emphasis on lightweight that has been uh, sort of a hallmark of off-trail design and shrinking it down into a platform that's designed for on-trail skiing. That's certainly also the same with the Elan Wingman 82 that is... Uh, an amphibio design, which means that the left and right skis are specific because of the way the forebody and the rest of the front of the ski is uh, biased towards carving on the inside edge and being looser on the outside edge. So it's taking a technology that in this case is percolating up from their technical skis, like their amphibio series, and investing it in a ski that's got a little on-trail and a little off-trail in it. And that's just also the spirit of this Dinastar 4x4 ski that comes up from their Speed Zone series. This is one that's rising up from the technical or race side of the ledger and introducing that technology to an off-trail skier. So it's not based on the Legend Deck technology or the old sham side cut. Instead, it's bred a more in the race room attitude, but with a wider platform that makes it more suitable for off-trail skiing. These are the new 82s that you're going to see during the 20 season. This is Jackson Hogan for RealSkiers.com and RealSkiers TV.